Zoe was born um, July 11th, 1995, and we got her late April of 98. So Zoe has been with us here since 1998. So we've worked with her for 20 some years. A couple months ago, we uh, were doing a training session and one of the keepers asked her to open her mouth. And when we did that, we noticed that she had a red mark on the roof of her mouth. So we talked to the vet department and we decided to go ahead and sedate her and run some diagnostic tests. So we ended up doing a heavy sedation of her and our plan was to look in her mouth, see what that lesion was doing, see if it's something else going wrong with her, um, causing her to become inappetent, take uh, radiographs of her chest, her abdomen, her skull, do some blood work, everything else like that. We got our biopsy results back, which showed that it was actually oral squamous cell carcinoma, which is a really aggressive, usually localized um, type of cancer. Anytime you, you can safely remove uh, the cancer in its entirety, that's usually your first choice. Although there's some cancers like lymphomas where the primary treatment is uh, gonna be chemotherapy. And then there's others that are inoperable where radiation therapy may be your first choice as in the case with Zoe. Stereotactic radiosurgery provides a really great benefit to our patients because unlike human patients, they have to be anesthetized for treatment because we need them to hold perfectly still. So this newer technology with advanced targeting allows us to treat patients in just one or three days instead of the older technology where we had to treat them daily for 15 to 20 consecutive days. We're about a week out um, from, her, from her procedure and she's doing really, really well. I just checked her again today. I don't see any evidence of any trauma to that eye that was near the radiation beam. Um, and actually there's really little irritation noticed um, in her oral cavity right around where that radiation beam went as well. So she's back up, uh, knock on wood, to eating twice a day, which is a normal for her. Um, and we'll just have to see how she does um, going forward. I mean, this whole procedure and the way everybody came together to make it work, um, we're really grateful.